We are going to review the new app uh, for the, your iPad, iPhone, or iPod called School Notes, which is available on the App Store. Uh, first thing is opening up the app. If you have not opened the app yet up, when you go for the first time, you go right to the setup screen. I've already have it set up, so I go to the home screen. But let me just show you with the setup screen. Uh, here you would put your name, uh, put the school year, and put your schedule down. And if you change classes, you can always bring up the keyboard and change one of your schedules. And save it. And then up here, this gear show, gives, takes you to the screen that has the uh, user instructions. Uh, this screen is also where you would set up your password. You can have it password protected or you can turn it off if you don't want to do, deal with a password. It also has a uh, hint or reminder if you, in case you would forget your password. This has your uh, iCloud backup where you could save your data to the iCloud or load it back from the iCloud. This comes in real handy if you're doing notes on your iPad, uh, but that evening you're going to be somewhere and just have your iPhone. You can save the data from the iPad and then load it back to the iPhone with this app. And then the About This app takes you to the user instructions. As you can see, there are detailed instructions on how to use each function of the app. Plus, these instructions are available in several languages. Okay, so back to the setup screen. Uh, some of the other things I want to show you about the app before we get into the note functions. We have a math chart. Uh, so you have math formulas you can use, a science chart, or science formulas, and we also have a periodic table. And periodic table can be zoomed in so you can go to one element or go to, to one group. Uh, all of the functions of this app, the charts, the notes, uh, the note board, can be projected on an overhead projector by using a VGA adapter. Uh, so if you're in a classroom, you can show the periodic table for the students if you're a teacher, or if you're a student, you can come up and solve a problem on the note board, which we will get to here in a little bit. So now we're at the point we're going to enter notes for the day. Uh, when you hit the enter notes, you will go to your subject and objective, and you can you can enter as many classes as you need per day. If you have seven classes, you may have seven sets of notes saved on that day. Uh, this is going to be social studies, and we're going to study Australia. Okay, once you have your subject and objective, there's several functions you have in taking notes. Uh, first is the note screen. And the note screen is set up like in the Cornell note format. You have your objective statement, you have your notes. As you're taking your notes, if you have questions, you can go down here and put in the questions you have as you go, that you can either ask the professor after the lecture, or you can look them up that night as homework. Uh, so let's go for an objective statement. And one nice thing, if you are like me and not really a good typist, uh, if you have the new iPad or the iPhone 4S or above, uh, you can use the Dictation Assistant for the app. Australian Settlements. So you have your objective statement. Uh, now in taking your notes. The first Western settlers in Australia were from Britain as it was a British penal colony. And as you can see, the, uh, the note-taking system works very nicely. And say that you're at this point and you have a question you're thinking of. Okay, you hit the question, bring up the board, and like I said, you can type it or your dictation assistant. How did British prisoners get to Australia? Question mark. And then you have a question. Bring your keyboard down to go back to the original and just keep taking notes. After you're finished with your notes for that lecture, you can hit save. And your choices are you can save it to your entry. You can actually save this to the photo album. The reason it's set up for that is from the photo album, there's a lot of things you can do with it, like you can print it out for somebody. Or you can send it as an email. Uh, you have a friend that is ill that day and missing class, uh, but he needs the notes. You can email him the notes. So we're going to save this to the entry. 
Okay, now we have a note board. Note board is basically something you can draw on to take notes, to do pictures, to solve math problems. It works with your finger or it works if you have a stylus. With the functions up top, this arrow here will erase your last entry. This will bring it back. If you hit it twice, you can go back to a clean board. We have an eraser where you just can erase a certain line. Or we can go ahead and trace the entry and start over again. So say we're in Australia and they want to put together a rough picture of Australia. First we can title it. We have a text function. Do your own size there. Australia. Hit OK. Okay, now you can move this anywhere you want to in the board. Just hold it down and move it up. It even corrected my capitalization problem for me. And we're going we're to draw a rough map of Australia. So let's use a uh, red for the map. And you can control the width of your line. And we'll use the stylus. Okay, uh, and this, you know, is land form. Yeah, let's get, let's, let's put some water around it too. So let's change it to blue. Stylus or finger, doesn't matter. And if you're working a math problem or drawing a map and you need more room, two finger scroll and you can go unlimited any direction. After you are finished with it, you can go ahead and hit the arrow and once again you can save it to the entry, save it to the photo album for printing or you can email what you did on the notebook. Okay, we're going to save this to entry. Okay, we have, you can record a video if you're doing a chemistry uh, experiment and you want to make a video of it, go ahead and record it. If you want to record yourself talking into what your summary was, go ahead and, and do that. We're not actually going to record a video though. You can record an audio and this is if you want to record a lecture or you want to, to, to talk a summary out with yourself. This lecture is about Australians settlements. Hit the use, bring it over. You can upload videos or pictures. Um, so you, you have pictures that have to do with this lesson. You can upload them into the day's entries. If you have a video, some teachers or professors will have their lessons videotaped. Uh, some schools use the flipped classroom where you have lessons videotaped. Plus, you may have a situation with homebound students. Uh, you can have lessons videotaped and entered into the day of the lesson for notes. So that, that's a function. And then after that, you can do a summary of the lesson. You can once again type it or use Dictation Assistant. And it's very common with the uh, C-Note format that the summaries are actually done that evening as homework or the next day. So in this case, we're not going to do our summaries yet. Once everything is in for your lesson, you save all entries and that actually saves it to your calendar. So let's go back to the calendar. And if you view your calendar, you can see a dot and that shows that you have a lesson that day. Uh, black dots mean lessons. Red dots are reminders. And we'll look at the reminder screen here in a minute. But we just finished this lesson. It shows a black dot. As you can see, whatever, when you press the date, it shows what is saved for that day. Now we want to go back in and we want to add to this. And, entry. It's now the evening, we're doing homework, and we need to finish our summary. Which, by the way, I want to point out that you can go to any past entry and either add to or make a new entry, including the reminders. Okay, so this is the notes we took for the day. It was over Australia. You go to your review screen. From the review screen, you can review the notes you took. There they are. Review your note board. Play your audio entry. This lecture is about Australians' settlements. Or if we had, had videos entered or pictures or videos saved, you could go here and watch those. Note that if you do not have an entry in a field, then the button is faded out. It lets you know you don't have one there. 
Okay, so we're going to do the summary. Add to notes. First thing in, we need to put a title again. And for title, we're going to put Summary of Australian Lesson. Okay, and then we're going to do the same thing for our summary. And you're going to either type out or uh, use your, the voice dictation assistant to put in your summary. In summary, what I learned about Australian settlements are okay, then once all your summary is done, you go back to the save all entries again. So when we go back to the calendar, we now have the summary of the lesson. So under that day, you've got your original entry and we have your summary. Next feature is to enter a reminder. Hit enter a reminder, it takes you once again to the calendar. As I said earlier, the red dots show that you have a reminder. Uh, say we go here, we have an assignment in English. Well, what was the assignment? You go to the reminder screen, your rough draft is due. If you want to enter a new reminder, you pick the day that you want to make the reminder, hit the add button. It takes you to the screen and let's just say we have a test in chemistry and it is over ions. Hit your save button and back on the calendar we now have that enters a reminder. So every day you can look at your calendar and see that week or the next two weeks what tests we have coming up or what assignments are due. And the final function I want to take you through is flashcards. Uh, this is put in here for studying purposes. Flashcards are very effective for memorizing what you have learned. You can use these flashcards by yourself or with a partner or with a study group. If you go to the flashcards, you have create or view. Go to create flashcards and as you can see we have groups already set up here. Uh, this was a US history lesson that flashcards were made for. This was an algebra lesson the flashcards were made for. This was our Australian lesson. Uh, to create a flashcard, you just go ahead and hit your create button. The lesson was Australia. You, you put down a uh, questions. Um, what form of, say, we're going to talk about the government. We can do type it or dictation assistant. What form of government did Australia decide on? And once again, we can use the dictation assistant. They formed a British style government. So now you've created another flashcard that added it automatically to that subject area. If we go back and go to the view flashcards, here's our subjects. Uh, at any time you can delete flashcards. So if you've completely finished with this lesson, you can delete the flashcards. So when you're studying, you can look at your question and uh, after you think you know your answer to the question, go ahead and hit it and the answer will show up down there. Uh, the same up here. In any of the lessons, just touch the question and the answer will show up. So that finishes the review of the uh, School Notes app. Remember, this is available in the App Store for iPad, iPhone, or iPod. It is very useful for both students and teachers alike. We hope that it helps you with your education.